Hey everybody and welcome back to 365 Riffs for Beginning Guitar. I've always loved Steve Earle's Guitar Town album. I thought today I'd show you the title track. It's got easy chords, no F chords, uh, no capo necessary, and it's got a great guitar solo. Check it out. So here's what you need for Guitar Town. A uh, G major chord. Definitely recommend using middle ring and pinky uh, because so often G goes to a C major chord and that makes it easier. You'll also need D major and uh, E minor and that does it for your left hand. Now, strumming over here. The basic strum pattern you're gonna use for most of the song is like this. Down, 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 up, down, up. Light grip on the pick. Upstrokes glancing off just two or three of the treble strings. Okay, down, 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 up, down, up. Now, to give it a little more flavor, we're going to emphasize certain strokes. We're going to go like this. Okay, so same downs and ups, but the first down a little bit quiet, second down loud. First down up quiet, then a loud down, and a quiet up. And it gets a nice pulsing kind of feeling. more in the flavor of the tune, right? Now, that's going to carry you through most of the tune, but there are some exceptions. The good news is the exceptions are easy. Uh, when you get to the verse in a minute, the exceptions are going to have a little asterisk, a little star next to them. When you see the letter G with a star, it means a single downstroke, okay? C with a star, single downstroke, okay? Okay, so that's all. When you see those little stars, you know what to do. Simple downstroke, and then it's going to return back to the pattern I just showed you. Sometimes there's exceptions in strum patterns, okay? But uh, with your, if you keep your eyes open uh, and uh, navigate through those sections, you'll do just fine. Okay, let's get into it. Here comes Guitar Town. So let's get started with the intro and the verse and the instrumental section. Don't forget the strum pattern, right? Every time you see a chord name, you're going to do that strum pattern with uh, the notable exception of those downstrokes with those stars next to them. We'll get to that. Uh, that uh, strum pattern happens four times on the G chord in the very beginning before the words come in. Technically, it starts with a quick little upstroke, and it sounds like this. A one, two, three, four. And then you're into the verse. Now, I'm going to play the first verse and the second verse for you because they end just a little bit differently from each other. And sadly, each verse ends a little bit differently than every other verse. That's just how it goes. Okay, so let's get started. A one, two, here we go. C's there at the end of the first verse. Second verse, not quite so much. A one, two, here we go. That's the, uh, the end of the instrumental section. The instrumental section begins about 35 seconds in. Okay, that nice little guitar solo. I'm going to teach you that guitar solo before the end of this video. Uh, and then it goes on to verse 3. Now, just so you know, after verse 3 and verse 4, it does the instrumental section again. The inter instrumental section ends a little abruptly. It hits the D, D, G, and then it goes right into the bridge. Okay, just want to give you a heads up. Uh, the bridge is coming up right now. The bridge begins at about 1 minute 25 seconds into the tune, if you keep in track. Uh, D, C, and G, no big deal there. Same strum pattern, and uh, no crazy exceptions here. Okay, so uh, a one, a two, a one, two, here we go. Hey. And 
then that final D leads into the G chord that begins the fifth verse. And there's a fifth verse and a sixth verse, and then it goes back to that nice instrumental section of that twangy guitar solo, and now that instrumental section with the guitar solo repeats, and that's the end of the tune. All right, now, speaking of that guitar solo, here it comes. I grabbed my Telecaster for the solo section here. I dialed in a little vibrato, and I loosened my sixth string down to D. Anytime you retune by loosening a string, you want to bring it down a little bit below pitch, a little bit flat, and then make your final move a tightening move, okay? That helps the gear hold the string in tune better. Now, I'm playing this in second position. That means the index finger is going to be responsible for any second fret notes. Middle on the threes, ring on the fours, pinky on the fives, okay? I'm also going to pick a little bit back here towards the bridge to get a little more twang out of this, okay? So here we go. Two, three, four. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you for another great song tomorrow.